Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in August. <laughs> Okay, so if you did not know, I used to have a series on my channel where instead of doing a haul every month, I would do an ebook haul every month because when I had some free time back in my freshman year of college, I would just scour Amazon for free romance books and download them right then and there without knowing anything about them. <laughs> and I kind of want to bring that series back. Um, I honestly don't know if people would be interested. Some of these are also um, Kindle Unlimited books, so maybe you could learn about more Kindle Unlimited books maybe. I did cancel my Kindle Unlimited subscription though a couple days ago. It ends in around three days, so I need to read a few of these because I realized I'm not keeping up with my Kindle Unlimited as fast as I should, so I'm kind of wasting money. So I'm gonna take a little bit of break of a break from Kindle Unlimited and just read what I have right now. I also have a lot of physical books that I have to read. You know, it's just a lot I gotta read, okay? So I have 12 books that I'm going to be sharing with y'all today, so let's get started. If you are new to this series, these are all romance books that you can find for free or on Kindle Unlimited, or they're really cheap. I don't buy them over five dollars ever. Also, I don't give you like a summary off of the top of my head for these ebooks because I don't remember anything about them ever. So I read the summary straight up from Amazon for y'all. So let's get started. Okay, so the first book that I downloaded was Nightwalker by Lisa Kessler. This was free at the time. It was Lisa Kessler's birthday in the beginning of the month, so this book was free on Amazon for her birthday. Oh my gosh, this book does not have a summary on here. I don't know what this book is about. <laughs> Just says it's the first book in the Night series. It's a paranormal romance. Oh, it's a vampire. It's a vampire book. Okay, what I've read from the reviews is that all I know is that this is a vampire paranormal romance book. <laughs> this is the same author who wrote um, the Moon series that I was really obsessed with like a year ago. That was Werewolf Shifters. Falling in love and I guess this is kind of the same thing but with vampires. I'm so sorry, I don't know anything else. There was no summary on Amazon. <laughs> Next is a book that I actually finished today. We have The Year We Fell Down by Serena Bowen. This is a hockey romance and this is book number one in the Ivy Years series. And this is also 274 pages. The sport she loves is out of reach. The boy she loves has someone else what now? She expected to start Harkness College as a varsity ice hockey player, but a serious accident means that Corey Callahan will start school in a wheelchair instead. Across the hall in the other handicapped accessible dorm room lives the too delicious to be real Adam Hartley, another would-be hockey star with his leg broken in two places. He's way out of Corey's league. Also, he's taken. Nevertheless, an unlikely alliance blooms between Corey and Hartley in the gimp ghetto of McCarran Hall. Over precariously balanced dining hall trays and video games, the two cope with disappointments that nobody else understands. They're just friends, of course, until one night things fall apart or fall together. All that Corey knows is that she's falling. Hard. But will Hartley set aside his trophy girl to love someone as broken as Corey? If he won't, she will need to find the courage to make a life for herself at a Harkness, one which does not revolve around the sport she can no longer play, or the brown-eyed boy who's afraid to love her back. Okay, so I actually did purchase this book. This was $2.99 on Kindle. Yeah, and I already read this one and I actually really enjoyed it. I finished it today, but this isn't a wrap-up for y'all. I will talk about it in my September wrap-up. This is also a new adult book, so if you're into new adult books, books set in college, romance books set in college, here you go. Next we have The Deal by L. Kennedy. I've been hearing nothing but good things about L. Kennedy and her romance books, especially this one. So when I figured out that it was free for a day, I was grabbing that for sure. I don't know what the price is now. Um, I can check. Let me see. Oh my gosh, no, it's still free. 
today's September 1st and it's still free, so whenever I post this, go check it out and buy it off Kindle for free. I've been hearing nothing but good things about this book though. This is the first in the Off Campus series. It is 342 pages. She's about to make a deal with a college bad boy. Hannah Wells has finally found someone who turns her on, but while she might be confident in every other area of her life, she's carrying around a full set of baggage when it comes to sex and seduction. If she wants to get her crush's attention, she'll have to step out of her comfort zone and make him notice, even if it means tutoring the annoying, childish, cocky captain of the hockey team in exchange for a pretend date. All Garrett Graham has ever wanted is to play professional hockey after graduation, but his plummeting GPA is threatening everything he's worked so hard for. If helping a sarcastic brunette make another guy jealous will help him secure his position on the team, he's all for it. But when one ex unexpected kiss leads to the wildest sex of both of their lives, it doesn't take long for Garrett to realize that pretend isn't going to cut it. Now he just has to convince Hannah that the man she wants looks a lot like him. I've been hearing nothing but good things about this book and I want to start it so badly and I've been meaning to get more into new adult and starting more new adult so I'm really excited for this one for sure. Next, the next book that I have is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. I've been uh, seeing this book literally everywhere on the romance book community so I needed to see what all the huss and fuss was about. Fortunately I downloaded this to Kindle Unlimited and my Kindle Unlimited subscription service is ending in three days so uh I don't think I'm going to actually get to it in three days because it's pretty long. It is 672 pages. <laughs> I haven't read a book that long in so long, so I don't think I'm actually going to get to it, but I might check it out in the future if I did decide to download Kindle Unlimited again. But uh, yeah, this is on Kindle Unlimited, but it is $3.99 if you would like to purchase it on Kindle. Vanessa Mazur knows she's doing the right thing. She shouldn't feel bad for quitting. Being an assistant slash housekeeper slash fairy godmother to the top defensive end of the National Football Organization has always supposed to be temporary. She has plans and none of them include washing extra large underwear longer than necessary. But when Aiden Graves shows up at her door wanting her to come back, she's beyond shocked. For two years, the man known as the Wall of Winnipeg couldn't find it in him to tell her good morning or congratulate her on her birthday. Now, he's asking for the unthinkable. What do you say to the man who is used to getting everything he wants? I've just been hearing nothing but good things about this book, so I, of course, downloaded it but I don't really know all that much about it, but I'm excited for this one as well. Next is The Kiss Thief by LJ Shen. This was another book recommended to me on the romance book community here on booktube, but I don't remember who and I'm so very sorry. This one is also another Kindle Unlimited book, but you could buy it for $4.99 if you don't have Kindle Unlimited. This is also 322 pages. They say your first kiss should be earned. Mine was stolen by a devil in a masquerade mask under the black Chicago sky. They say the vows you take on your wedding day are sacred. Mine were broken before we left church. They say your heart only beats for one man. Mine split and bled for two rivals who fought for it until the bitter end. I was promised to Angelo Bedini, the heir to the most powerful families in the Chicago outfit, then taken by Senator Wolf Keaton, who held my father's sins over his head to force me into marriage. They say that all great love stories have a happy ending. I, Francesca Rossi, found myself erasing and rewriting mine until the very last chapter. One kiss, two men, three lives entwined together. And somewhere between these two men, I had to find my forever. That just sounded so interesting, y'all. That sounds so flipping good. That sounds so good. I really want to read this now. <laughs> Next is A Butterface by Avery Flynn. Um, I actually bought this book off of Kindle. I bought this for $3.99. I've been having my eye on this book for so long because it's a romance book about a girl who says she's ugly. So, uh, normally I read about books where the girls are freaking like supermodels. So I want some diversity in my life, y'all. I believe the second book in this companion series is about a plus size woman. So I'm really excited to read that one as well. Um, that, yeah, this is the first in the Hardigans book series and it says it's a hot romantic comedy. <laughs> this is also 272 pages. It's true. I'm not what most people would call pretty and well, high school was rough. Fast forward 10 years and life is good until a bunch of jerks think it's hilarious to put the butterface aka me on a wedding kiss cam with the hottest guy ever and that old humiliation hits hard. I recognize him immediately, the sexiest cop in Waterbury and totally out of my league. But then he kisses me and we totally forget 
forget the room, the crowd, everything. Then he tells everyone we've been dating for months. Soon, everything starts to feel too real. From adorable fights over necessary tools to fix my broken porch to surviving a free-for-all dinner with his six siblings to picking up where our last kiss left off. But there's something he's not telling me about why he's really hanging around. And I'm pretty sure it has to do with my mob-connected brothers because this is not a makeover story and Cinderella is only a fairy tale. Again, I really want to read this one a lot. I got nothing else to say. <laughs> Next we have The Billionaire and the Nanny by Paige North. This is on Kindle Unlimited, but I believe I got it for free. And you could download it for free, I think, earlier in the month. This is book two in like an, a billionaire nanny, nanny series. I don't know. And it is 160 pages. Zayden. I never wanted to be a father. Never. Then I find out that I have to take care of a baby I didn't even know existed, but I won't let it change my life. This baby is nothing but a small blip on my radar. But the nanny, F, she's hot. And according to her resume, she loves learning new things. If there's any reason to keep the baby longer than necessary, it's to make sure I see her voluptuous body every day. The fact that Bailey's more gorgeous than she even realizes that she looked like a deer in the headlights when I stared her down at her interview makes my... Mm, twitch. <laughs> she doesn't even realize her own beauty, which is sexy as Hell. She drives me insane with that innocent, sexy look. No one ever talks to me like she talks to me. No one ever challenges me. No one ever looks so effing hot while doing either. I tell myself it's just infatuation. I can't get involved with her. I know that much. I only want to taste her and I'm pretty sure she wants to taste me too. A pretty little thing like her is too good to pass up, especially with that bite of spunkiness in her. Before long, she's mine, her ripe young body responding to my every touch, my every kiss, my every thrust, but more time I spend with her, the more real it becomes. And the more I see her with the baby, the more I start to think that maybe we could be a real family. But that's impossible isn't it? Bailey. Together, me and the billionaire sharing this mansion with his bedroom just down the hall from mine. He's the boss from hell, expecting me to keep the baby quiet at all times. When I explain to him that babies cry, he becomes incessant. You have a mouth on you, Miss Rainville, and I have better uses for it. I know I should be disgusted, but I'm not. Not even close. The man smells delicious. His late day stubble creates a dark mood over his features, and my body shakes when he stands so close to me, I'm almost positive he's going to kiss me. What's even crazier is that I actually want him to. The man who hired me, pressing his lips against mine, I wouldn't mind it at all. I want this man more than I wanted anything in my life. He infuriates me like no one else, and that sends currents running through my body. The balls, the nerve, the cockiness. He thinks it's all about him. I shouldn't be interested in him at all. And yet, I can't help thinking there's more to him than what he shows the world. More than just a cocky, rude billionaire. The kind of man whose heart is cold. He could turn away his own child. I know that's not who he really is. I know that he could be a great dad, a great family man. I just need to prove it to him. And I'll do whatever it takes, even if my heart shatters along the way. Oh, that summary was so long. <laughs> That sounds interesting though. Sorry, I'm real tired. I'm gonna fly through the rest of these books and just keep going. <laughs> Next book that I have is Too Hot to Handle, A Curvy Girl Romance 1 by River Laurent. And this is on Kindle Unlimited or you could buy it for $2.99. And this is 197 pages. I think I downloaded this for the 24 hour smutathon, but I ended up not getting to it. Madison, all I wanted to do was stay at home and lose myself in a romance novel. I certainly didn't want to go see the all American male stripper troupe from my Miami perform, but Eleanor would hear nothing of it. She had just broken up with her boyfriend, and in her opinion, the universe owed her a night of pure lust with the star of the show, Subway Chad. I'd never been to see a bunch of guys get their kits off before, and to be honest, I had a strong feeling it wouldn't be my thing. All these women screaming their heads off for a bunch of guys who were almost definitely gay. Nevertheless, we got dressed up to the nines and went to see the performance. Subway Chad appeared on stage, and oh my friend freaking god. Then his eyes found mine. Chad, women throwing themselves at me on and off stage was no big deal, but me spotting a woman in the crowd and insanely wanting her. Nah, that's never happened. There was only one thing to do, get that beauty on stage. I didn't know why she had such an effect on me, but one thing was for sure. Like me, she couldn't conceal the lust in her eyes the moment our bodies touched. This one was coming 
back with me. Oh, there you go. I believe it is a plus size woman main character. So I love that in a book. So can't wait for this one too. Next we have Accidental Baby by Laura Swan. This is a billionaire secret baby romance and this is 341 pages. Um, This is free on Kindle Unlimited. The other day I got it for 99 cents because it was on BookBub and it told me that it was 99 cents on the platform so I decided to steal that deal. I've spent years raising my sister, starting a billion dollar company to keep her secure. That's all that's ever mattered. Now she's at college, I take one night for myself, a little wild freedom. Guess what happens? It was only supposed to be for one night, but she left me desperate for more, searching for the girl with sparkling blue eyes and wild passion, Ava Lockley, the one who danced and kissed and cried out with total abandon in my arms. When she walked out in the middle of the night, I thought I'd never find her again, until she turns up at my office days later. Part of a new team working for me and totally off limits. My business has ruled my life for years, but I can't stay away. One night turns into two, with stealing moments together and sneaking around. Then she says she's pregnant, a baby, my baby. If anyone finds out my once in a lifetime business deal is screwed, she'll lose the one chance she's got at her dream. Now she'll have this secret and all I want to do is to tell people I'm going to be a daddy. The only thing that stops me is putting her career in jeopardy. It can't stay hidden forever, but that doesn't matter. This baby is mine, Ava is mine, and I'll do whatever it takes for us to be a family, even if I have to give up my life's work. Yeah, this is an accidental baby story, office romance story, so I haven't read an accidental baby story in a while or a baby story romance baby story in a while. So I'm excited for this one too. Sorry, I'm so delirious right now. I've been talking to the camera for like an hour. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep going. I think I have three more. Let's go. <laughs> Next is Craving by Helena Hard Ardent. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. I got this the other day for free. It's still free on Kindle right now. I don't know how long that's going to last. This is the first book in the Steel Brothers saga and it is 288 pages. After being left at the altar, Jade Roberts seeks solace in her best friend's ranch on the Colorado Western Slope. Her humiliation still rape. She doesn't expect to be attracted to her friend's reticent brother. But when the gorgeous cowboy kisses her, all bets are off. Talon Steele is broken. Never having fully healed from a horrific childhood trauma, he simply exists, taking from woman what is offered and giving nothing in return until Jade Roberts catapults into his life. She's beautiful, sweet, and giving, and his desire for her becomes a craving he fears will never be able to satisfy. Passion sizzles between the two lovers, but long buried secrets haunt them both and may eventually tear them apart. This looked really good and it's really short, and I believe I, uh, almost bought this physical book at uh, Barnes & Noble one day, so I got it for free on my Kindle instead. So big plus there. Next is Burning With Desire by Bella Winters. This is free on Kindle Unlimited, but I bought it for free yesterday. Um, It was on sale and I got it for free. So there you go. This is the first, the second book in the Forbidden Heat series. Um, and this is 299 pages. I hired her to help my daughter sleep easy, but now I want her in my bed. Julie, my daughter's new nanny and my, damn, this is so wrong. Give yourself a break, Ricky. She's your employee and so much younger and innocent. But what if I want to claim her innocence? What if her love warms my heart? What if her curves ignite the flame of passion once again? And what if my daughter is falling in love with her too. But just when I think my damaged past is over and never again comes to haunt me, she disappears. Would the strength of my love ever bring her back? Would she ever have the guts to stand up against her own family? This one sounded a little bit obscure because I don't really know what it's about, but I love the nanny romance. I'm a sucker for it. I want to read more and maybe like have like a recommendation video for nanny romances. I think this would be a great contender, so I cannot wait to read this one as well. Next is Kissed by Magic by Erica Ridley. This is the first book in the Magic and Mayhem series, and it is 138 pages. And this is on Kindle Unlimited, but I got it for free yesterday. It was on sale for free. Enjoy an Outlander meets Frozen romantic comedy from a New York Times and USA best-selling author. An adventurer, Lance Desmond, needs to produce a fortune before his arch rival collects the bounty on his head. He risks an ancient curse to retrieve hidden treasure within icebound Castle Cavanaugh, only to become trapped inside. Not with the gold he so desperately needs, but with the medieval Princess Marigold, who's been cooling her heels since 
well, medieval times. The Lonely Princess refuses to acknowledge the blossoming attraction between them, not just because she deserves a better future than a penniless rogue, but because at midnight he'll vanish like all the rest of her would-be heroes. In the evergreen in the parlor, we'll have one more figurine hanging from its burrows. That sounds really cute. I really like the premise of Outlander meets Frozen. I was really sold on that. So I immediately clicked and downloaded this book and it's really short. So I can't wait to read this one also. Well, anyways, there you have it. Those were all 12 books that I downloaded in the month of August. Uh, my voice is hoarse now. I'm really tired and I'm ready to go take a nap. <laughs> But anyways, please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. A bunch of them are free, so I say go ahead and steal those deals and download them. <laughs> but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye!